started here. Um, I'm really the golf yard. Uh, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Dairy Trust GAC, I extend a very warm welcome to all our guests and our speakers for this anniversary celebration and the launch of our future plans for the next five years. I am delighted to see you all here for the special evening of celebrating the past and looking forward to the future. We have a number of invited speakers this evening, so without further ado, I would like to open the evening by welcoming Michelle O'Neill, MLA, as our keynote speaker this evening. Please put your hands together for Michelle. Very good. And it's brilliant to be here this evening. Oops, am I going to rack the microphone? That's a good start. But great to be here this evening on what is obviously a really good occasion as you rededicate the centre and I'm only too honoured to appear and have an opportunity to say a couple of words just and to help proceedings along because I know there's a few special things that uh, Margaret and the rest of the committee want, want to do throughout the course of the evening. So thanks a million for the invite Margaret and as I said gr great to be here and, and to be part of, of tonight. Also thank you for the great notes which yourself and Maura and all have sent me all along. So I'm not going to miss anything out so I'll try and use it as best as I can. But um, as we rededicate the centre tonight, obviously it's 20 years has passed since this brilliant facility was opened. And if for, when I look around the room and when I see some of the people you'll remember 20 years ago and you'll think about what were you doing back in then. In 1997, Kerry won the All-Ireland. Uh, the Spice Girls were, were number one in the charts. Uh, we were about to enter into a peace process and Dory Trust was making its own history in the fact that it worked so really, really hard. And any of you that were involved at the time of the club, um, all the fundraising, all the work that went into building the centre and to make this all happen, it just was it's a tremendous effort when you think back to 20 years ago when things were tough and there wasn't much funding around and the fact that the community got together and put this right in the centre of the community for, for all to use. So a big boule bus, I think, a big round of applause for all those people that worked so hard back then. I actually was thinking about um, the Old Hill Hut and I can remember it, um, I'm that age now, um, but I can remember a Sunday night um, coming down here with my mummy and my aunt Helen and them dancing through it and Margaret was actually just, we were just chatting about that earlier, so you'll all again have your own memories about what the Hill Hut was like many years ago, but it was great crack and it was very much like it is today in that it was a strong sense of community. It was people coming together, it was people leaning on each other, it was people enjoying the, the, the centre that was here and what was here at that time. So um, it's fond memories, but it's just went from strength to strength. And that's what tonight's about. It's about what else can happen in the future. And the club have many plans for, for what they can do and what else can be achieved. To try and bring in everybody into the centre, because it's about the footballers, it's about the Camogues, it's about the wider community, and it's about how you have something right in the centre to, that makes sure that there's something for everybody. Just particularly because when you live in a rural area, it's not easy sometimes, there's no transport, there's all sorts of challenges about being able to get to other things, so it's so important that you have it on your doorstep. But it doesn't happen without finance, it doesn't happen without um, everybody working really hard to bring it about. When I was the Agriculture and Rural Minister and I was distributing rural development funding, so basically it was European money that was being used to support rural communities, and my department didn't fund GAA clubs. Like that was, that was the kind of department, it was a very unionist department, and it didn't fund GAA clubs. And we worked very hard to change that picture, and now clubs right across the north of Ireland have benefited brilliantly from rural funding and I want this club to also benefit from rural funding and we need to work hard to make that happen. So I pledge to you tonight my support, the support of Sinn Féin and Linda's here tonight as well, just to make sure that we will work with you to try and make sure we achieve and attract in every penny of funding that we can in the, in the limited pots of funding that, that's out there. But the best advice I can give you as a club is, and as a, as a community centre is to make sure that you're ready, to have the plans on the table, to make sure you know what it is that you're going for, to be realistic about what it is that you can achieve, because then whenever funding becomes available, and Mark's probably going to talk a bit more about this later, but whenever funding becomes available, you're ready to go and you're ready to be part of whatever packages are, are put out there for, for, for you to avail of. So this is tonight about making sure that we just all work really hard to do more, to make sure we deliver more. And I have no doubt the people in Dairy Trust will, will be all part of that and do absolutely everything they can to, to make it happen. So brilliant, hard work ahead, but I have no doubt that you'll all be up for it. So back to what my formalities are, and I'm going to forget what I was supposed to say. Um, 
Yes, so the next part of the evening is I'm going to have the pleasure of inviting three trustees of Derry Trust Club, people who you know very, very well. And I want to ask them to come up to accept a small token of um, recognition of, from everybody here and to thank them for the work that they have done down through the years. And I'm quite sure they could all tell a story or three or five of things that have happened across the club down through the years. So can I invite Francie Hagen, Malachy Fitzgerald and Malachy O'Hanlon to come up onto the stage, please. Do you want them all up for a photograph first? Uh, we will stand up there for a photograph first, but it's really new. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. So the three gentlemen are now going to unveil this plaque, which is for past members, past players. Past members of players. Yeah. So I can ask you all to come forward again. Sorry, he's up and down in the yo-yo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so give them all a big round of applause and then come this off. very much gentlemen and again I think that, that that they're what it's all about they're at the heart of the community they're at the heart of the club and they've been here down through all the years all the developments all the good highs all the lows and it's just what we're asking for tonight is that everybody else gets involved and, and gives that same commitment and dedication down through the years ahead and I can see plenty of young people in the room that'll obviously carry on that mantle so so for a play to you and, and, and thanks a million for, for being here this evening my sort of final thing to do this evening is just to officially say that we, the centre tonight is being rededicated and its new name is now Derry Tresk Community Centre, home of Derry Tresk GSE and also the bar, so we can't forget about the bar, it's also being renamed and we're going back to when it was before the Hill Hut Bar. So well done everybody, brilliant and I think it's just first class. So we're just going to get Michelle to tell uh, this is a wee dedication thing or for the rededication of the club. Uh, this will be going outside, I think, at the double doors 
uh, on our way in, so I'm just going to ask Michelle to, to, to unveil that.